Welcome back to Licence to Rock, Total Rock on TV, coming at you from the Intrepid Fox in London. I'm Natasha and I'm here with Mr. Wednesday 13. How are you doing? I'm very tired. You're very tired yes. and, and you're starting to get a bit hungover as well. No, I don't get hangovers. No, of course not. I never stop drinking. <laughs> Stephen, how did you actually feel about speaking about the past? Was that something that was quite difficult to relive or, or was it good to actually get it out? It had been difficult uh, for, for a long time. Judging our competitors this week are a panel of three of the UK's most preeminent goths. Our final judge is Natasha Scharf, goth journalist, broadcaster and DJ. I'm going to be looking for the goth aura. There's always a little bit of a something, a darkness around about someone who's goth or alternative, so I'm going to be trying to hone in on that and the band themselves didn't even look like goths at that stage. Robert Smith had short brown hair, they were walking around with this very kind of mismatched image and it's for exactly that reason that Fiction Recordings chose to have a very strange cover for Three Imaginary Boys showing three well, rather mundane household appliances. <laughs> Moretti, the co-director of Heavy Metal in Baghdad. Tell me, what is Heavy Metal in Baghdad in a nutshell? Uh, I guess it's uh, the story of four young Iraqis. Who... I mean, there's one scene in particular where you've got to get a flight to Baghdad and it's um, after the, the US have taken over and you've got to go via Germany and then you've mm -hmm. got to get this bus. I mean, did you have any idea when you first started filming that there was going to be that much, that, that many safety implications? Yeah, I mean, I just like, I... I think he was, you know, the first man that I had seen wearing makeup. Adamant sung these lyrics that sort of drew attention to himself. Oh, look at me, you know, I'm the dandy high woman. It's just something about that that tends to draw women in. I know a lot of his sexual pastimes were certainly toned down initially in the press. And then of course later on, as, as the press became the scandalous press that we know it today, that was the key thing that was focused on. Until then, this is Chris and Natasha saying keep, keep totally, totally rocking. rocking.